I'm Lindsay, and I'm a nerd fighter. Don't forget to be awesome! I discovered Nerd Fighteria in 2007 um, when Hank did his video for Osseo Deathly Hollows. And then I saw John's video reading out comments from Osseo Deathly Hollows with spotty green hair, and I was like, what? is going on here, and I wanted to know more about these brothers and what they do. So I went back and watched them all from the beginning, and I've been an inviter ever since. So in 2010, they did the project for Awesome, but YouTube was way more involved with it. They couldn't do a live stream themselves like they usually did in the past. So me and the other FBI Nerdfighters contributors got together, and we decided to run a live stream ourselves and comment on videos that were from lesser known YouTubers. So people with usually like 100 subscribers or less. After we did that, John and Hank just kind of recruited us for the next few years to help run the live stream kind of behind the scenes. So in 2009, I did Vlog Every Day in April, which Maureen Johnson founded back then. And I met a ton of nerd fighters through that. We kind of got together on Skype after Rita ended and just wanted to hang out all the time. I just made a ton of nerd fighter friends through that. So we found out in our Skype conversations that Valerie had never read the Harry Potter books. So we decided to annotate them and send them around the country to each other so that we could get her to read the books. Um, and that was my first big Nerdfighter collaboration thing, and it was a lot of fun. So for Esther Earl's Make-A-Wish, she decided to have six of her friends fly out to see her. I was one of them, but right before the trip, Make-A-Wish decided that they could only afford for four people to come out. So when John heard about it, he decided to fly the other two out. And as a result of that, I got to stay longer and have some extra memories with Esther, which are really nice to have. After that, John and I just kind of became friends because met in such a kind of intense way and he's just a really thoughtful person he's always trying to make sure everybody's okay in the community and wants everybody to have the best experience he and hank are two of the most genuine people in this community there's no two people i would trust more with uh such an impressionable community base i guess of people who are really looking for something to feel included that's kind of what john hank at this table i'm lindsay don't forget to be awesome